Well, I guess Beard of Pop has challenged me to a mystery box challenge. So I guess we'll start with a normal intro here. Hi guys, Top Pops here. Today, we are going to be opening up a K-Dog and Fish mystery box. So let's get started. Alright guys, so today we actually have another dueling mystery box, and today we're going to be battling Beard of Pop, so let's roll it. Well hey guys, it's Adam from the Beard of Pop. I want to thank Tristan from Top Pops for putting this whole thing together, and K-Dog and Fish for sending over the mystery boxes. This is going to be a great time, but I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take down your dude Tristan. But guys, I'm Adam, as I said, from the Beard of Pop. If you don't know who I am, check this out. Alright, in the top, boom! Oh, that right there, guys. Check that out. Isn't that sweet? Another Wednesday Funko Pop, Pop mystery, mystery box, box duel. duel. And the thing. Fantastic Four Marvel Legends series. I thought this one was just wicked. Just wicked awesome. I'm Deadpool Bob Ross, guys. So, guys, boom. These crankies right here. My daughter, Alexis. Hi, guys. <laughs> Boom. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Definitely go check me out. I'll be linked down below. And guys, this is going to be an amazing duel. But unfortunately, the Beard of Pop is going to have to take down the king. And guys, your boy is going down. So Tristan, back to you and good luck, dude. Thanks, Beard of Pop. And today we're going to be opening up this right here. This is the K Dog and Fish vintage VHS mystery box. So I'm guessing this is a lot of like 80s and 90s movies, as well as some Stranger Things as well. I actually have the photo here, and it looks like there's some chance for chases, as well as some other ones. I see Ghostbusters, 2001 A Space Odyssey, some Stranger Things, like I said. Um, is that one there? That is Animal House. Um, anyways, guys, there's some really, really great figures inside of here, and I'm so excited to see what we got. And we are trying to beat each other in value today. So if you guys want to go check out Beard of Pop's video, I'll have it linked in the description down below so you guys can go to his video to see who won. But now, let's get into the box. All right, guys, so while I'm cutting into this, I want to tell you more about the mystery box. So I think each of these boxes come with five figures. We both have one box, and we're going to try to price these out to see who got a more expensive box. And this is also $50 Canadian, so with the Funko app saying it in USD, it's really worth about $35 for this entire box. So it's a great deal for five figures. All right, guys, so I remember K-Dog and Fish telling me that they were going to be upside down, so I shouldn't be able to see what they are. No, perfect. So these are all upside down. Also, guys, if you want to check out K-Dog and Fish, there is their sticker with all their socials. All right, guys, so I just figured out it's actually six figures, and I can only see the bottom of them, so I don't know what figures they are, because it's just like the little barcode on the bottom. But anyways, let's get into the first figure here, because I'm pretty excited. All right, guys, so the first figure we've got here, okay, it's in bubble wrap, so I'm going to put it under the table, and then uh, we'll open this up and see what we get. I'm actually really excited about this, because there could be some good stuff in here. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm trying to figure out where the top of it is here, and what is it? I don't know. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this one's from Smokey and the Bandit. Now, personally, I've never seen Smokey and the Bandit, but this is Bo Bandit from Smokey and the Bandit. It's actually a really, really nice pop. I especially like the one where he comes in the car as well, because I have seen that one before in stores. I just haven't picked these up. And it's actually really nice that I don't own this figure, so in my books, that's a pretty big win. All right, guys, so that was the first figure. Now, let's get on to the next one here. Uh, let's go with this one here. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, Whoop. here we go. And again, guys, I'm not looking. I don't want to look. Because if I look, that's cheating. I wouldn't want to cheat. I mean, there's no fun in cheating. You guys know what I mean? So let's see here. This one feels a little bit lighter than that one. I'm trying to find the front of the box. I think it'd be here. You can kind of feel the cardboard, right? So here we go. Okay, three, two, one. Who do we get? Who do we get? Ooh, what is this one? Okay, so this is the original Michael Myers from Halloween. Now, I don't think I own this pop. I don't know, I'd have to check into this one, but I also think that there is a bloody chase version, which is actually really cool, but this is one of the first ones. Uh, it says, they'll thrill you. You guys can even see the box is a little bit different as well. Maybe I do own this one. Um, they used to be back there, now they're over there, so I'll have to check the Funko app when we're scanning these in. But yeah, you guys can see the top of the box looks a little bit different, and so does the bottom. This is one of the only boxes I remember that they did like a gray outline on the top. Now, of course, they do the black box ones with Batman as well as some of the, I think it's the, um, it's the Star Wars ones. They also do it with Star Wars ones as well for the Futura ones. But yeah, this pop is really great, and I do not own it, I think. I'll have to check. All right, guys, let's get on to the third one here. I don't know. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, here we go. Uh, so far, we've been doing pretty well. I mean, I don't think I have any of them. I, I'm trying to think. Do I, I own the Jason Voorhees for sure. I don't know if I own the Michael Myers one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty exciting. Is this one in a protector? Oh, I think it's in a protector. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I helped myself up for nothing. I can't see it, of course, so I have no clue. Uh, but anyways, the bubble wrap's almost off. 
Let's see what it is. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one. What did I get? What did I get? Ah, okay, cool. So we got the one from Animal House. This is Bluto um, in the Toga Party outfit. This one's pretty nice, actually. I did see this one the other day at EB Games, and it does look really, really great. Again, I've never seen Animal House but it's still a nice pop. I guess I'm thinking about it here. I don't know any of the values for these figures. Like these two are probably maybe like 10 to $15, but for that Michael Myers, it's one of the original ones. I don't know if it's retired or if it's still out. I'm not too sure. So it could be worth a pretty penny. All right, guys, let's get on to the fourth pop here. I don't know which one to grab. I mean, I've done the left side of the box and I'm doing the right side of the box. So let's just go with this one here. Uh, this one feels a tiny bit heavier. I don't know. I'm not too sure. It's hard to tell, especially with the bubble wrap on as well. So let me just take that off and then we'll check it out. All right, guys, here we go. So I'm just feeling the box to make sure I've got the top of it here. And boom. What do we get? Ooh. Oh, whoa. Okay, so this is Michael Corleone from The Godfather. I do own this pop, but this is a special edition one. I remember for some reason, um, Shoppers Drug Marts here in Canada, I'm sure K-Dog and Fish got it as well, um, actually got this figure in. So this is a cool one. I do own it. It's the first one that I own for sure, because I don't know about this one. Um, but yeah, it's still a really, really great figure. And this one's probably worth maybe like $20. I'm not too sure. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this one here in the States was a Barnes & Noble exclusive. All right, guys, let's get on to the fifth figure figure here. This one, oh, I don't know. I mean, so far we've been doing pretty good. We've gotten one exclusive out of the uh, six so far. Um, and I don't think you're guaranteed any exclusives or anything like that. So it is nice that we did get one. Um, but let's see what we got right here. This one feels a lot lighter than that one, that's for sure. Uh, so let's see here. Let me find the front for you guys. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Did we get anything good? I don't know. Ooh, okay, so we got the Ty Webb from Caddyshack. There is a chase version of this one where he's got himself blindfolded. I did see that one on the, the grail list at the front there, or like, you know, the, the more exclusive figures. Um, but this one right here, I do not own. I've been actually meaning to pick this one up. I, I do like a lot of the Caddyshack ones. I do have the gopher as well as Carl Spackler, so maybe I'll get Alan Judge as well. I'm not too sure, but I would like to get the Ty Webb chase eventually. All right, guys, let's set this guy up here. Now let's get on to the last figure here. I don't know, this could be a good one. Because the thing is though, it's $50, so you're not really guaranteed any rarer figures, but they do throw some of them in there. So you're making your money back literally just by buying the box because usually pops in Canada here are like 15 to $20, depending on which store you go to. So for getting six of them for 50, it's a great deal already. All right, guys, so let's get on to the very last figure here. I hope you guys didn't see that. If you did, well, it was in bubble wrap still. Um, so this one right here, I mean, to be honest, I don't really care as long as it's something that I don't have. But then again, we might be getting better stuff than Beard of Pop because I feel like that Godfather one could tip us over the edge if he gets maybe all comments or something like that. I'm not too sure. But let's see here what I got. I don't know if I feel a sticker or not. I don't know. I can't tell. Um, the pop goes... Oh, I don't know which way this pop goes. Uh, this way, probably. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Who do we got, guys? Oh, sweet. Okay, so we got the one. This is Dr. Eon Spangler from the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters. I do own that one as well. It's actually right there, but it's still a really, really nice pop. This one actually does have a lot of great detail on it. I like the glasses on this one a lot better than the original one. The only reason I'm saying that is because the original one, there was no like lenses on the glasses. They just did it so they were clear or like, you know, there was no plastic there at all. Um, so I really do like the updated sculpts, especially with Dr. Egon Spangler, just because they added some pretty nice glasses. But now let's price these things out to see if we beat Beard of Pop. All right, guys, so I've got my handy-dandy whiteboard here to tally up everything. So we've got Dr. Egon, Michael Corleone, Ty Webbs, Michael Myers, Bluto, and Bo. Now let's see which one's the most expensive. If I were to guess right now, probably Michael Myers or Michael Corleone, but I don't know. All right, guys, so let me go to the Funko app here so we can scan in the barcodes. And let's start with Dr. Egon Spangler, because I'm guessing he's probably about $8. Ah, he's 11 not bad. All right, guys, on to Michael Corleone here. Let's see what he's worth. Like I said, he's a special edition one. He was a Barnes & Noble exclusive, so he's probably worth a little bit more, but I'm not too sure. This one is, whoa, 34 I don't know, guys. This could be the winner right here. $34 is pretty high. Actually, if you think about that, because it's in USD about $35, this is the entire box right here. All right, next up here is Ty Webb. I'm going to guess he's a little bit lower just because he has a Chase version, so I'm going to say probably eight, maybe seven dollars, probably something around there. Mm, six. All right, guys, next up we are getting on to Michael Myers here. Now, this is one that I'm not sure if I own. Also, I don't know how expensive it is. I'm going to guess maybe fifteen dollars. It can't be too pricey, but it could be up there. You never know. It is. Whoa, if I had the chase, it'd be 270. I do own this pop. And it's worth 13. And to be honest, guys, anything over $10, I'm completely okay with, because then you're making $10 on the box. All right, guys, next up, we are going on to Bluto here. Now, he is a brand new common, so I'm guessing he's probably going to be about 10 to 15, or he might not even have any data. Nope, he's $9. And now, guys, last but not least, we've got Bo Bandit here from Smokey and the Bandit. I'm going to say 15, 10, I don't know. 
16, not bad. All right guys, so Dr. Egon Spangler was $11. Michael Corleone was 34. Ty Webbs was six. Michael Myers was 13. Bluto was nine. Bo was 16, which is a total of, drum roll please. $90. And I think $90 is a great number for this box, especially because the box is about $35 USD with exchange. You're getting about $55 extra value. And even if you're not getting something like Michael Corleone, which is worth $35, which paid for pretty much, well, it's $34, it's $1 under, but it paid for pretty much the entire box, you're still getting about six common figures, which would pay for the box anyways. So overall, I would say this is a really, really strong box, and I'm wondering what Beard of Pop got. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, but before we go, I want you guys to go down to Beard of Pop's video in the description down below to see who won this mystery box challenge, because I feel like... I feel like we might have won this one. I don't know, but go over to his video, check it out, and then come back here and let me know who won because I actually don't know what he got yet. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been Upside Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.